Most refugees in Malaysia have escaped the brutal military regime in nearby Burma. Among them are one of the world's most persecuted minorities, the ethnic Chin. Kennedy fled Burma five years ago in fear of his life. Uh, all the men will occupy this site and all the women. Forced labor, rape and torture are common stories. It's Patrick, so he's going to take the voice. Oh, we go with Patrick? Patrick, yeah. Okay, sure. So, all right. The six Australians will stay with the Chin refugees in their cramped flat. So, uh, around 50 refugees are living together in this flat. 50? Yeah, five zero, including children. 50 in this room? Not in this room, but in this flat. In this flat, yeah. How many? 50. 50. 50. Five zero. Five zero. Fifty. Yes. Over. Can we, can we? Yeah, you can I'll just... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 living here? Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Two families living in this uh, small room. Two, two, two families. Family. And, and seven, seven members. Seven people. Seven people. Uh, pretty tight. Yeah. Pretty tight. Hello. Can, you can go in there, just feel free. Hello. Is this used as wardrobe space or is this washing? Like wash yeah. clothes? Uh -huh. This up here? No, like, this, to dry? No, not to no? dry, but they have no place to keep, so like, they just yeah. hang here. Yeah. Like wardrobe, yeah. 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 Awesome. What about these children? They stay home and stay here? Yeah, yeah. All day. All day. Yeah. So do they sleep in here? Yeah, sure. They sleep on the floor? Yeah, they sleep on the floor. They have no bed? No bed, no, no bed. mattress. No yeah, mattress, the they sleep on the floor. Like on the floor, on the, on, on the mat. Oh, no. There's some bedding over there. Do people, do people sleep here? Yeah, do people sleep here and the floor? Yeah, that's for you, I think, tonight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, 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 very good. <laughs> well, this is spacious. Kennedy, where do people shower? They just use this toilet for showering. And so, well, there's just it's, one shower rose for 50 people. For 50 people, so they have to queue in line, mm. especially on Sunday before going to church. And all the washing process outside here. Happens here. Yeah. Must, be, must be incredibly difficult to become here to be housed in this tiny area. It must be very difficult. For the children, they are very, very poor to stay here because they cannot go out, but they have never been around and they have never seen the train, so they have to be here all day. Do you have a lot of problems with the children trying to adjust to this lifestyle? Yeah, of course, they have a lot of difficulties because they want to go out, but we have to stop them. If they are arrested, there is no mercy. They will be put into jail or prison. So, even a child? Even a child, yeah. Even pregnant women give birth in detention centers. They're not safe here. They're not physically safe. They're still treated, you know, as illegals, even if they have uh, a UN certification as a refugee. They don't feel safe to let the children play anywhere. They have to keep them in here. So it's almost like a, 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 a detention centre that they've created themselves for their own safety. There's no way anybody would want to stay here, would be happy to, to live with this, especially not with children. Sixteen-year-old David dreams of being a professional kickboxer. His family fled Burma four years ago. His father feared for his life after refusing to pay bribes to the Burmese military. Refugees aren't allowed to work in Malaysia. To survive, many Chin work illegally on construction sites. Some work on farms outside Kuala Lumpur, where they clear land in return for food. 
Back in Kuala Lumpur, the Chin attend a makeshift school in a neighbouring apartment block. So today, this morning? It's the only time they are briefly allowed out onto the street. Over a hundred students are schooled in the four-room apartment. Okay. How much do the um, how much do these guys get paid? Uh, how much do these guys walker? get paid per yeah per day? Well, we are volunteer worker. Volunteer, mm -hmm. yeah. Doing it for free. <laughs> they do it for free. Hang on, so let me get this straight. These guys are here nine hours a day. They're here nine hours a day for free. Yeah, they walk here for free. How do they feed their families and, and get money? They give us shelters and food here, and that's enough for us. Wouldn't they be better off going to a construction site and getting at least some money? If we walk uh, outside, we might be arrested. That's why we're afraid of walking to other places. Oh. I mean, at home, guys labouring have got a paycheck to go to to get the luxuries in life, and these guys have got nothing. Tell me about your story. How did you get here? I came from Samway. <laughs> yeah. By boat. 